Okay, so I want to show you how easy it is to apply Jamberry nail wraps. Um, I have laid out kind of everything I need here. First thing that you want to do is prepare your nails properly. Don't rush this because the preparation is what's going to set the groundwork for a good application. So there are lots of different ways to prep your nails. Just like with anything, you pick what works for you. I like to use um, just some 100% acetone because I have some oily nails and it really just kind of strips all that oiliness right off my nails. So I've already done this step, but I just use some cutting rounds and acetone, wipe off my nails. Done. Then you use a cuticle pusher. You can get wooden ones like this just about anywhere or you can get a rubber cuticle pusher, which is also kind of handy at the end. Um, whatever kind of cuticle pusher you like. There's some really awesome metal spoon ones that really do a fantastic job and are only about four bucks on Amazon. But whatever you like. So you are going to push back your cuticle all the way. Make sure you get any kind of hidden cuticle that you might have. This is really good to do right after you get out of the shower. Um, I've actually already done this step. So if you look at my nails, there's nothing there. And pick out your jams. This is what I'm going to be putting on today. And I am using the Jamboree Mini Heater because it's so nice and quiet. Look how quiet that is. If you choose to use a hair dryer, sure, it works. But you would not be able to hear me talking if I had a hair dryer on. Would you be able to watch TV while doing this? Mm, I don't think so. And one of the things that I love about Jamboree is I can do this while having a conversation with somebody. I can do this while my husband is watching TV and it's not going to interrupt him. Uh, I can do this and if one of my kids starts crying about something, I can stop mid-application and go pick up my baby, go change a diaper, go do whatever it is I need to do because I don't need to wait for these to dry. They're not going to smudge. They're not going to go anywhere. So pick out the one you want and go ahead and measure against your finger which one is the right size. You want it to be just a little bit smaller than your fingernail. Not a lot, but just a little, little bit. And you can cut it right in half, but then you'll have a lot of waste. So what I like to do is slide my scissors under the wrap and I cut it about a third of the way because I know how long my nails are, so I know that that's what I can do. And you only want to touch on this cut edge because that's the part that you're going to file off anyway. Don't touch on the part that's going to go on your fingernail because then it won't stick as well. I'm going to line it up with the top of my nail and just kind of press it down there. If you need to pick it up and move it around, you can still do that at this point. The goal is that you want it to be as close to your cuticle as possible, but not actually on the cuticle. So I just have it laying there, right? I'm going to hold it up in front of my mini heater, just for a count of three to five. And now it's just a little flimsy, and I'm going to smooth it out side to side. Just rock your... And then I'm going to use this finger to kind of hold it in place. And I like to do a little grab and pull. Okay, so you can see I've got a great application here. If you have one of these rubber cuticle pushers, it's nice to just kind of go around, smooth it out, make sure you get no bubbles. But it's totally not necessary. By doing the grab and pull, you're going to make sure, look, there's not a single wrinkle or bubble here. It looks pretty perfect. Then, you can either use nail clippers and clip off the extra, or I'm going to use a nail file. I actually really like our Jamboree nail files because they're a nice 
rough grit and it gets this off in no time at all. If you like a finer grit, that's fine. Whatever works for you. That's it, you guys. I'm done. Beautiful nail. Perfect application. And that took, like, what, 30 seconds. Let me do one more for you. Okay, on this nail, I'm going to use my aquamarine French tip. Again, same process. I am going to hold it up. Now the French tip comes in different sizes because everybody's nail bed has a different length and you want it to be a length that makes sense for you. And I am going to pick this size. Now again, I can cut this straight up the middle if I want, but you know what, this aquamarine color is so pretty. If I leave a little bit in the middle, I can use the extra for my toes later. How awesome would that be? Again, I am going to line up the clear part with the edge of my cuticle. Just kind of press it down lightly. Hold it up in front of the heater, just for about a three count. And then smooth it out side to side and then do the little pull at the edges. I actually like to do all five of my nails and then file at the end, but for demonstration purposes. You can see it just kind of rolls right off the end with the nail file there. And there we go. Two nails done in no time at all.